What is up, YouTube? Moto Meat here, looking to chew the fat on this tool tube install. Talk about how crappy this stock one is. It's terrible. It barely fit the tools that came with it, you know, which aren't great tools, but you do want them in there. And it's not waterproof. That's why they put a drain hole in there. So I'm not going to not going to waste your time anything on uh on much other than the fact that this is the stock size here and that's the other upgraded size the reason why i upgraded it was so i could fit what's the reveal oh look it's still coming off it's got a, a seal there so this is a waterproof unit Whoa, there goes the tools. I forgot I put them in there. So there's the regular tool bag that fit into there only. That's all that really fit in there. And what I wanted was this. It's just a liter of fuel. Let's see, 1,500 milliliters. I think it's just a liter, something like that. So it's a fuel bottle. That's all I wanted was to be able to carry a little bit of emergency fuel in here. So... I'll leave that out really quick to show you what I did. All I did was, and actually I, I, I just realized I didn't even clean that up. That's funny. So I will clean that up so it's not sharp as a razor blade. But that's where the stock tab was, okay? The bottom tab's there. I just bent that in a little bit to get the angle proper. And then I cut this tab off and welded it up there. That's all I did. It's not amazing welds or anything. But it's on there. It'll hold. It's strong. Strong as stock. And then, you know, I made it to where it would fit that. And I can't remember what I did because, you know, you can't, like, just set it here. So I think I put it in the end here. In the end and then just screwed it on. Just found a way to screw it on. But I'll probably actually just leave that out of there because... Um, hold on one second. Let me switch hands. Because I bought a... a one of them toolboxes, the, not toolboxes, sorry. I'm not really even sure what they're called. Just a little, I bought um, a cargo carrier for the back rack there, an aluminum box. And that way, on the aluminum box, you can carry a, you know, a light amount of tools. And then on the back of the box, I was going to mount a camera and then... Uh, little reflective thing that says smile you're being video recorded um so basically this thing's a piece of trash though it never even closed properly and it doesn't it doesn't hold it's not waterproof so that's all this video is about is upgrading your little tube here i don't know what you'd really want to call it it was a tool tube now it's a fuel tube and it's just a little upgrade. It's quite a bit bigger. And I think this is like 15, 15 inches long or something. And it's nice and sturdy. So it's going to work out really good. And I thought I'd just share that with you guys. If you have a welder, you're going to be able to do this real easy. You just need a cutoff wheel, cut the stock tab. I think I just mildly bent that tab. You're going to have to figure it out how yours works and how tight you want it in or out or whatnot for your um your fairing here this fairing's off because i trickle charge that battery just leave it on a trickle so it doesn't die because it's so cold up here in colorado <sighs> no i can see my breath <sighs> not sure if you guys can but uh cool i'll just leave it short and sweet this thing is a great upgrade. I'll put the link in the description. I honestly can't remember what I paid for it at the moment. And I will put the description, uh, a link in the description for that actual, that 1500 milliliter fuel cell also, in case you guys are interested in that, because I think it's like, I can't remember. I thought it was a liter. So, I mean, it's just a part of a gallon, maybe uh, a fourth of a gallon or so, or a third or whatever. And it'll get you home if you do run out. So, or at least to a gas station. So that should give you like 20 miles or so. All right, guys, Moto Meat out.